as the sandstorm approaches. Looks like the field is ready. Our head rep and our FTA say let's get this match going. Space is four. Between the lines. Three, two, one, go! And we're underway. Red Alliance with one, now two. Robots successfully moving out and past their half zones. Blue Alliance is scoring points, having all three of their robots move past the half zone line. Sand Silk period comes to an end. Unofficially, we've got your leader as the Blue Alliance, 17 to 15. Here side of the field, we're watching them as Red Alliance robot 10, 14 puts the moves on the Red Alliance rocket. It's got one of the hatch panels in its position, reaching up high with its telescoping arm. Hoping to place one of those hatch panels in position. In the meantime, on the Blue Alliance side of the field, two robots are there at the loading zone. 60-32 with the cargo pod in its position. Peters back and forth for just a moment. Now it writes itself. Moves up to the first opening for the Blue Cargo Ship. Places the cargo pod there. Earning some points for the Blue Alliance. Blue Alliance with the lead now. 24-19. Coming up on the 75 second mark. Still plenty of time. Anything could happen. New side of the field, it is 31 to 38 Innovator Robotics trying to get something going. Cargo pod in its possession. Trying to decide if it wants to go to the cargo ship or to the Red Alliance near side rocket. Hasn't made up its mind yet, but their alliance partner using that telescoping arm to reach up high and try to place another hatch panel on the Red Alliance rocket. 31 and 38 was waiting for that hatch panel, then it lost its grip on its cargo pod. No joy there. Far side of the field. 60, 32 in position. Places a cargo pod into the Blue Alliance cargo ship at the rear point of entry. We're in the end game now. 59, 73 trying to negotiate up those ramps. Carefully provided by 20. 51 as part of its alliance partner assist. Trying to help their alliance partner get all the way up and onto the third level. Two seconds left. Time has expired.